I've been trying to make this YouTube video for seven months. Yeah. Um, just to make my first real YouTube video and to like try and get back into it again. I've been journaling about it. I've been sitting here. I've been plotting. I've been scheming. I've been saying, wait, I need a real light. I need a real camera. I need a real tripod. I need a real microphone. I need the real editing software. Like just making up bullshit excuses. And then it would be like, oh, I can't record because I'm only free at night and there's no light at night. And so I can't do anything. And I'll, I'll do it when I have free time in the day. And then when I have free time in the day, it's like, oh my God, I don't have anything to talk about. There's not enough time to shoot uninterrupted. Like all of this stuff, all these bullshit excuses and I just kind of got sick and tired of being sick and tired so I just said I'm just gonna get something out there so I'm calling this video the importance of getting started and you can see me here I'm wearing like a boring stupid outfit another thing that was been blocking me was like I need a really good outfit oh my hair doesn't look good enough today and I'm holding this stupid little square mic which ideally I wouldn't have to hold and it would be uh, there would be some sort of extension going through my shirt and you wouldn't have to see anything but no but no but we're not gonna do that anymore we're just gonna sit down and do the damn thing huh I'm gonna talk about the importance of getting started and I'm gonna talk about how to push yourself to get over that hump to just start creating, start doing, start pursuing the things you wanna pursue. This is just one format of video style I'm gonna try out, just talking points and I'm getting it out there just to practice making YouTube videos and get in the habit of posting. So bear with me, golly. The reason I was stuck for seven months trying to make this is not only because I was trying to get all the gear and perfect everything, but also I was really worried about like, how good my first video needed to be. Because I already have a following on other apps, I was like, if I cross promote it on my Instagram, on my TikTok, all those people are gonna watch this and this is gonna be my one chance to like wow them with the stuff I have to say. And like the pressure to make perfect videos, to make perfect art, is keeping me from making art at all or to make videos at all. I'm trying to think of videos as art, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, and you might think like as someone who posts every day, is getting feedback every day, like has already grown the account to like a certain amount, you might think that like I'm comfortable with just getting started on things. And I think that there's still always gonna be that like doubt and fear and like self-loathing and like almost the hesitation and the perfectionism that is gonna come into it. And I just remember um, I originally started with a lot of TikTok videos. And when I was going to Instagram, I was like overwhelmed with the same sort of feeling like this is totally new I have to be perfect this isn't the same game and I got through that by just posting consistently just kind of like closing my eyes and just taking care of the quantity and just like trying to get the quality right but like focusing on the process and not the outcome that's what the I'm gonna try and do here I say all this about YouTube because I want to talk to the larger point of trusting your intuition oh my god I feel like a goddamn no I don't want to be like a self-help motivational person hmm okay anyways but my new year's resolution for this year for 2023 was to trust my intuition sooner um that means taking the risk that I knew I was capable of and like you know not being shy not letting imposter syndrome like stop you from pursuing things like you know how you have you might have a business idea, you might have a post, an idea of something you wanna post, some art that you wanna make, some outfit you think you could wear, some position you think you could get a job at, like stuff like that, all of that stuff. Um, you know how you, sometimes you can just feel in your head like I know I could be successful at this if I tried. I have that feeling and I'm trying so freaking hard to act on it every single time, like, or as many times as I can. Like when I have a creative idea for content, I wanna act on it, I wanna pursue it, I wanna see things through. Like I don't wanna let like these, these visions, these ambitions, these goals just die or just suppress them and just put them away. Like, especially at this time in my life, like I'm 23, okay? I'm like a year and a half post-grad. Everything is becoming like really um, routine. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to the same job every day. Like I'm working my nine to five. Like there's no summer break. And it's not like at the end of every like semester, like I'm getting, I'm moving up a, a school year. Like, no, like it's like, if you want to go get something as an adult in this post-grad world, you have to go pursue it. Like that, that structure and that ladder that you follow all throughout your educational career that just naturally advances year by year, like just doesn't exist as naturally or like as visibly in your professional career. And so that's why I'm kind of just like feeling like so crazy passionate and like fired up. And I'm like, I should do YouTube. I want to do YouTube, like let's do it. And I haven't been doing it because of this perfectionism. And I'm just like, screw that. I'm not letting this get to me anymore. I got, I'm sick and like, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh my God. The thought of my own unfulfilled potentials of the, the thought of the ideas that I had and never saw through, that is like, that is what is deeply motivating to me. And another thing about creating is like, I do all this work on my own. Like I set up my own schedule. I keep 
the content consistent, I come up with the ideas, I film, I produce, I edit all those things like on my own. And so it really does have to come from like an internally motivated place. And I think like this fear of lost potential is what is keeping me going. So when I wanted to come to this YouTube video and all the other things that I'm like trying to conquer in my life, I'm thinking about like, what is just the first step? Like that is the hurdle I had to cross to sit down and like sit here and look at this camera right now. I was like, what is the first step and how can I do it? Not what is the first step that will feed into the second and third and fourth and fifth step and that will lead to my eventual like super successful channel. Like no, like the first manageable step. And I'm like, I just need to get a YouTube video out there. I'm watching all these other stupid videos by famous YouTubers talking about how to get started on YouTube. I'm listening to freaking Mr. Beast and Ali Abdal and they're just like, Dude, you just gotta put the first like 10 videos out there because no one's gonna give a shit about them anyways and the perfectionism is, is gonna keep you down. So you just need to go quantity. And that's something that I knew from creating online in other spaces. So I'm just like, I'm gonna put my foot down and just do it. And then another big stupid freaking creative roadblock I was facing was like the gap between the type of content I want to make, I'm inspired about making, I could get up and film and talk about for hours versus the content that would perform well with the algorithm, the content that would make sense from what my online presence is already, the content that would be a natural continuation of the content that I post now. And ultimately, I post a lot of queer uh, queer related and like queer fashion content, da da da, if you've seen me on Instagram, TikTok, blah, blah. And I can't talk about that stuff forever. And that's kind of one reason I got into this or one of the reasons I'm trying to get into YouTube is to have long form content to talk about anything I want. And I think ultimately like, like taking that pressure off myself to be what people expect or to post something that performs well on an algorithm, but like I'm not passionate about or can't post about again, or just like don't feel motivated to do is not gonna work. And ultimately the stuff that's gonna succeed is the stuff that you enjoy doing and you could do over and over again. It's like a passion project for you. Like if you have to like fight yourself and go against the grain to like make it, then you're not gonna be making it all the time. It's gonna be like an uphill battle Battle all the time so that's why I just kind of like had to let go of the of the prerequisite of oh this has to make sense this has to fall in line this has to perform well like no screw it and it can actually in fact be <coughs> it can actually in fact be whatever I want so this basically has turned into some sort of therapy session, but even if it is just a video diary for myself to see later, I'm okay with that being the only outcome of this, but I'm 23, I'm young in turn, and you know, early 20s is the time to like grind. Like this is the time where like you can grow exponentially and for the things that are gonna come for you in the future. And I'm sitting here pissed off, very much aware and aggravated and very much just like clawing and screaming and like so motivated and ambitious to just get out there and make shit. So welcome to my fucking YouTube channel and prepare to see more of me.